Well, howdy, folks. You've landed on the BRO channel. Yeah, it's, it's spring. It's a beautiful spring day here in the Midlands of South Carolina. And uh, I was out here, been working on a common problem. If you're fortunate enough to have Sharpshooter USA, the, the turkeys and the roosters are real excited this time of year. To have the Sharpshooter USA mold, you know that the handles are the weakest link in this chain. So what I've done is I figured out a way, I've got some through bolts put through here to fix these things permanently. Just countersink some stainless steel bolts through these handles. Stand by, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Some 10, 24 stainless steel bolts, inch and a quarter bolts. Mine happened to be Allen. There's no telling what you might find at Lowe's. Half inch wood bit, I call them a countersink bit, half inch wood bit. And a 13 64 drill bit is what I'm using as a through bit for these bolts for this size. Like I said, I think they're, they're 10 24. And the phone drain, stand by. And depending on your mold, make and model, some of them, have got the bolts to where they're not staggered, to where they're straight across from one another. And in this number four buck mold, they are straight across from one another. I will use the holes that are already there to drill through for one side, but I will definitely stagger the other side for these, so that these inch and a quarter bolts here, these 1024 bolts, will not touch each other on the handle. There's not a mold that I have in here that I probably haven't replaced the handles or, or something or had to deal with the handles two or three times. That's why on this mold right here, I've got two different fasteners on it. We're just going to get the fasteners out. So we can get our holes drilled. Okay. We got our mold skinny down now. Handles off. All right make some room here okay and the first thing we're going to do is lay our molds down here line line this up and we're going to drill we're going to drill a couple of holes here pilot holes for our bolts all right got them lined up Let's see if we can get this done. You just hold pressure on it. Got our holes drilled through. Right in my old work table here. Now what we're gonna do on the other side, so these bolts don't bump into one another, we're gonna stagger it on this other side. So I'm gonna take the other handle that we're gonna put on here, set it on this side. And what I what I do here is I just look to see where I have the most room to deal with right here. So, I'm going to just stagger backward on this one and put it right next to it, right here. Now I'm going to go on the back side of this one right here. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to drill our countersink holes. All right, we got our half inch wood bit on here. Now, see if we get us a little bit of a, a countersink hole set up here. And it ain't gotta be far. And that ought to do it. All right, let's get them put together. 
Okay. We take our bolt. Take our bolt, come through the back side. Line up the bolt hole like this right here. And we look and we are counter sunk on the other side. And I get the lock nut. Get him started. And I just hold it. I just hold it with a pair of pliers and uh, instead of a wrench and take my universal Allen wrench and run it on down tight. All right. We got our bolts in here. And now I'm just going to put the pliers on here. We're going to run it down tight. So what you been up to? Not a whole lot. Other than the truck running great, I think we put that thing on there and then wait. Running up. great for a little while. And I got home and turned the truck on yesterday, yesterday morning. And this morning I was going, I was driving, and like if I put it on, like when I tried to speed up to about 60, it hit a 60 on the speedometer, and the truck just went, <laughs> wouldn't go. With. All right, guys, that's all there is to it, and uh, your handles shouldn't come off anymore whenever that happens. You always make sure you're wearing your welding gloves. I'll wear some real thick gloves so no heat transfer comes through these bolts, which will happen. But as long as you got your big thick gloves on, you're not gonna notice it anyway. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This was another episode of a BRO reloading bench quick tip. All right guys, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. We would like to thank all of our generous patrons who help this channel stay up and running you guys really have no idea just how much you help thanks from the whole bro crew